the Xbox One. You can take that statement in any way you like, but one. Ooh, look at that. Playing numbers against expressions. This console and its reveal, its unveiling, just proved to everyone, and practically everyone, that Microsoft has officially committed Sempuku. Microsoft just slid itself in the throat by unveiling this console, and, I, and here's why. The good news, which, uh, to tell you the truth, it, it could not be further from the actual truth. It, it, you know, that is actually, that is actually far from what, uh, what we have to deal with now. The good news is that it's not going to be always connected, always required. Uh, the bad news is it's it's become worse. Where to begin? Oh, Microsoft, why did you do this? Why did you destroy your... It's like the company has now put itself in a state of disrepair with the relationship between them and whatever audience they were intended to go for. I watched this entire press conference for about an hour and ten minutes of what it was worth, and it absolutely brought nothing new to the table. I gave Sony a lot of shit for trying to be a new machine with the same problems, and I gave, and everyone's given Nintendo shit for being lackluster and simply trying to monetize on Let's Plays. Oh, but Microsoft, uh, they knocked themselves out of the game so early, and I just can't believe, I can't believe that that as an ordinary citizen uh, who can only go to college and get a formal education and use it to advance his own career, and, and I'm not someone in the position of a chief executive officer, but but if if I were, I would probably either quit my company or or or, or I would fire everyone else and just hire brand new staff to take out the entryways. These people, how did they get their education? No one's learning anything from these people, it, it, which, interesting enough, is the epitome of their machine. Not, you're not learning. You're not observing anything new. In fact, you're just seeing a a, a stationary device based. Well, okay, uh, stationary is not the not the good is not the right way to describe it. It's actually just a device intended to make usage of everything you've seen before. It's a multimedia player, which will include Skype, which will include watching TV, watching football, basketball, and the like. Let's see, I didn't write anything down, but I did keep uh, good attention. I did pay good attention to all of that they had to explain and reveal today. Call of Duty Ghosts, an, a brand new entry in the Call of Duty series. Oh, shocker. How am I surprised? How can anyone be? A brand new entry in the series gets downloadable content exclusively and early. Yes, it's a timed exclusive, uh, judging from all the context that these uh, that these people have agreed to be interviewed and that they, the statements they're putting out there. Yes, Call of Duty will have exclusive content to the Xbox One early before the PS uh, before the next PlayStation does. And the rest of the conference involved it. <sighs> Sorry, I'm yawning so much. It's fucking nighttime where I am, and I want to sleep, but I can't without getting this out of my head. Microsoft just. Microsoft deserves to burn. I'm sorry, but these are not people anymore. All right, these these are a true prime example of humans devolving. This is devolution, all right? These people are supposed to bring machines that talk about the games, all right? that talk about the technology and how innovative they are. Why do I fucking... What, what is my fucking drive or incentive to pick up one of these when everything that I can do with that, with the device, is now on my television, or for better, for better yet, 
uh, lack, for lack of a better term, I'm sorry if I sound, sound a little bit incoherent, I'm not drunk, I'm just very tired. Uh, for lack of a better term, how about the PC? My personal computer can do all of this crap. I don't need my con- I don't need a console to give me all of this attention with multimedia uh, players with uh, voice commands and uh, voice issued responses. No! The one reason why I listen to information about a console is always, and I mean always, for the fucking games. Ah, and I'm going to try and swear I'll in here as less as possible. I am pretty irate about what I saw. And I'll tell you right now, I am not an Xbox person by any means. I have never paid for a subscription model of Xbox Live. I've never bought the console. The only thing I've done relevant to the Xbox is buy a controller meant to be used on PC. That's it. The pros of this system are nothing but grains of dust or sand. The cons, however, are the, are the gargantuan problems surrounding this machine. The first, one of one of many is that you cannot transfer, and this is gonna suck for everyone who already owns a console uh, of the previous generation. In which case, you may as well just keep your 360 right now because I'm about to destroy your mind. I'm about to break your hearts. For everyone who bought downloadable content or downloadable uh, episodes or games for the for their 360, they will not be transferable over to the new Xbox. And apparently, uh, we are getting more information about used games and the and their fate tied to accounts. Uh, how it works is that if you buy a game, you get to activate it for your own account. However, if you try to do so for a second one on the same machine, or take your game and play it on someone else's machine, you'll have to fucking pay a price to unlock it. You literally will have to pay to in order to activate it. Now, granted, we've received plenty of updates since then. Then, I'm sorry. The problem being, uh, the problem being that Microsoft's vice president, I believe his name is Harris. No, I, I, I'm sorry, I, I can't tell. Uh, one of the people who have had to step in, John Hicks, the editor of official Xbox Magazine, has had to respond to this over whether or not it would be possible to resell these games or if there's a way around the installation fees. Because that's pretty much what you're getting. You have to install a game, and the only way you can do it, and to play it secondhand, is to pay a fee. And not a very small fee, mind you. Let me quote it to you from the man himself. Let's assume it's a new game, so the answer is yes. It will be the same price. Do you know what this fucking speaks to me as? This tells me that I'll be paying 60 bucks to play a used game. A quote, used game, unquote. That's not even the worst part. That's just one of many. Next issue at hand involves the Kinect. Yes, it, that atrocity is back again. That abomination of a responsive response-based device is back to annoy the hell out of everyone. You know why? Because it's going to come bundled in with the new Xbox One. This may affect cost increase, and we may end up seeing just how much the system really could be. It could go over the $300 or $400 mark, and because it's Microsoft, I'm going to guess that it's going to be between $400 and $500. Bucks. I sound like I want aim to be on the mark. But I really don't want to be. In fact, if I'm right about what I'm saying, I will come to regret it. You will be required to play the Connect. Well, not not so much. The issue at hand here is that you will need to have the Connect attached to your Xbox in order to play the Xbox. So something irrelevant to you in your gaming interest is required to be attached to your system. The one thing that you bought because of the games behind it. Which may not have that many games. That doesn't work. It won't work without the Connect. Why? Why did you do this? 
I don't see- No one sees a point! You're just trying to shovel people into playing a failed business product. It is... It is incompetent on Microsoft's part to do this. Here's why. No one's going to buy the Kinect. They know this. So they will staple it to the Xbox, to a to a supposed gaming device, which everyone was is going to buy. Well, they're not really going to buy it after seeing all of this ongoing news and just this negative press that this machine deserves so much. Because now it's not even trying to innovate what we could do with our software and hardware. It's about the most restrictive policies to keep our consumers in line so that we own them by proxy simply because they have access to our device because they can touch it and this this is not information that you guys can just find from people saying no this is something that you have to have the balls to ask up close and you know what happens like you may not have read as much information as I have but I have seen this motherfucker try to come out and clarify at least four times about how the used game process will work. And GameStop is already in on it, but they won't comment about it. Another big surprise. Another cat out of the bag for that, too. I wasn't able to talk about this earlier because I had to go to work, but I had to keep my opinions preserved. And I'm not angry with Microsoft. What I want them to go through is... Un uh, is is just to close down their business. These people have not earned the trust and the buy, like the buying decisions of the consumer, uh, of the mainstream audience. I don't even know if mainstream is a, t is a term I, that I should coin right now. Because this, this high-tech device appears to be made for someone other than its intended audience. And like it or not, Microsoft is supposed to get with the program and attempt to appease their hardcore gamers. That's how they got started with alongside Halo and Gears of War. They had an audience. An audience was seeking good games. And they came out of nowhere. And that's how they did it. And now we're a decade into this company and their division at, like, at games. And it's as though it's as though they're trying to turn into the opposite direction. They want to try and appeal to a mass market, but the intentions are very are very narrow minded. I don't know if this counts as irony, but it is. They're never going to succeed in this way. And it, it honestly, I shouldn't have to explain any more than I already have. I've given you like three pieces of of just of just self-destructive conclusions on Microsoft's part. Okay, but I'll give you another piece, just because I'm awesome and I'm also angry about it. The trailers presented for FIFA, for Call of Duty, for another racing game that I can't seem to recall at the very moment. They're all CG pre-rendered cutscenes. We did not see any traces of gameplay whatsoever. We probably saw, like, one spec of gameplay involving a shooting and uh, the middle of a uh, the Call of Duty map. They didn't have a name for it, but it was there. We saw someone get shot, like, uh, hit on target, and that's it. They just made a little mention of a 60-frame count, but we did not see much outside of that. And I like the motion capture dog. I know, you know, some people don't care about dogs, but fuck you. Uh, I like dogs. I like a, uh, a lot of animals. But uh, I, I think it's good to get some more characters out there, even though Call of Duty has never been known for the story. It, has, it is hardly ever known for anything outside of its multiplayer enticing experience. Something I never made light of earlier. Back when EA announced not too long ago that they dropped their online passes. Well, we now see what... Uh, we now see the elephant in the fucking room. Even though he may have just walked out. The weight that we thought was off our shoulders is actually contrived in an alternate form. It's all, it all has to do with Microsoft's dealings toward publishers like EA. And EA, will, Electronic Arts, will probably get a piece of this action too. It has to do with the ability to block a used game from playing on the system. It will not function unless you pay a fee to unlock it, which is behind a fucking monetization wall.
I really, I really wish, and I didn't stutter there, I was just wanting to expand, I really, really, really fucking wish that the consumerist had waited a little bit longer to vote for the worst company in America award, because it's split between Microsoft and Electronic Arts now. John Riccatello or not. One of the most, ag one of, I'm sorry, I'm just testing the microphone, because if I hit record, uh, uh, it cuts off my sound a little bit in the beginning. Anyway, one of the most aggravating things about this press conference is that it is Microsoft's worst debut at, like, at it uh, for the year, and we haven't even reached E3. I can see any attempt of trying to withhold certain elements of your criteria until the bigger league, the bigger convention, but let Let's put it one way. The PlayStation 4 had a recent reveal over at New York. I, I, it was New York, so I, I think, at least. You see, unlike... Unlike fucking Nintendo, or, or rather, I should say, this conference with Microsoft, Mo Sony didn't include restrictive practices in their initial debut. What they did was just show off some trailers of some fucking possibly decent games, even though they are guilty of patenting technology to prevent used games from being read into the console's uh, drive. Yeah, I'm keeping an eye on them too. Oh, but Nintendo, if there has ever been one time where your opponent has a weakness wide open in the form of a window, it's this. Alright, the Wii U is selling horribly and is doing bad but here's Nintendo's opportunity to step in and make themselves look better in the spotlight. If not, then it's all Sony. Or better yet, it's all PC. Because console gaming seems to be dead in the water from all the news surrounding this generation. You can't clear the air with this one. You can't cut the mist. No, sir. At the end of all of this, I do not care about a next generation Xbox whatever the number is now it's not a 720 and this system this this machine is obviously 359 steps back kudos to whoever thought of it first this reveal was a disaster waiting to happen and i'm seeing i'm seeing everyone online complain about it and i'm glad i'm not the only one this uh this xbox and uh no, just this Xbox on its own merits. The cons obviously outweigh the pros. In fact, it destroys the fucking scale because of how self-absorbed Microsoft has become. And if Sony somehow, I, I don't know, creates a twist in all of this, which makes them look just as bad, just as hardly irresponsible, then I'm just going to stick to my PC gaming. You know what? I'm going to pledge to my own audience and to whoever. I mean, if you deeply respect what I do, despite the fact that I don't show up show up as often as I do, sorry. If you like my content, and if you're happy to have me around, I would at least like to pledge to you, and I would like to ask you, more importantly, not to buy this system. If it can be... Like, and not that it hasn't been verified. It's been checked down fr from top to bottom. We've been making a big deal about this since the inception of the online requirement, um, uh, supposed myth. But if this is Microsoft's finalized plan, if the publisher actually intends to go this, this indiscriminatory route between gamers, the media, and, and mistrust, I will ask my audience right now not to buy the new Xbox One. And I'm not going to tell them what console to buy, but I am going to tell them that I will set an example. I will not purchase this, th this possibly four to five hundred uh, dollar bundle. No, no, I don't need Connect, and I don't need you. I don't need this publisher telling me that that what I own actually controls me, and it usurps me every moment I come in contact with it. No, fuck you, people. You're out of the game. You either get with the fucking program, or you get out. It sounds like you'll be taking option two from here on out. On the plus side of things, there's always the possibility of praising the OUYA and the Valve Steam Box. 
You know, it's it just seems to be the big three that have a problem getting on task. Yeah, on task, on target, with the people they want to try and sell their machine to. I think I will just keep my PS3 and maybe pick up a 360, uh, likely used, as long as the profits don't go toward this malfunctioning publisher of an establishment. I think I'm going to take gaming one day at a time and just try to have the most fun I can get out of it. Because unfortunately, we have to discuss the legal ramifications and the politics surrounding each and every individual decision that's at our own expense, mind you. Now, as much as some people, like myself, have been bashing Microsoft head-on to, to near bludgeon and death, I'm not going to give them the benefit of the doubt, not this time, but I'm not going to completely eliminate them either. I say this because everyone else wants to give them an opportunity. E3 will be the definitive outcome for sure. Either this publisher will end up wa uh, making their own bed, and uh, making their own coffin, or they will just barely get by. It, it will be luck of some sort. The games they have, it, it, uh, their exclusivity could be the deciding factor. Alright, and this video has probably not been worth the attention I actually gave it. I just, I was going to buy this console until I actually learned about everything that happened. From an hour of stream, like, why was the stream an hour? Ah, uh, it's not about being perfect. It's about being asinine compared to the previous performance expectations of others, including uh, Microsoft's own. But uh, you know, this isn't even a step up from how shitty their E3 press conferences usually are. No, no, this is something far worse because of the attempted hype trying to surround it. Attempted but failed hype. All right, I'm done talking about this. Unless there's something else I've missed. I'll probably note it in a future video or a in annotations. Or You know what? Converse with me. All right? Tell me whatever it is I've neglected to mention. I, I, Microsoft, I, and talking about them right now, makes me feel very disgusted. I'm going to sleep. It's late for me. So, good night, ladies and germs. And I hope... One day, we can have a conversation about gaming that doesn't include anything controversial. And if it is controversial, it's got to be the fun type.